Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add products on your e-commerce website using WordPress. So there are many ways to add products on your WordPress website using Elementor. You can either use the paid version or the free version. Just bear in mind, just so you know, the, the paid Elementor version has a lot of advantages, right, which I highly recommend you to have Elementor Pro, which is what I use for my business and for some of my clients as well. So I, I use the pay version. But in this video, I'll show you how to add products on your uh, e-commerce WordPress website for free. Well, you don't need Elementor Pro. However, I do highly recommend Elementor Pro. <clears throat> uh, if you want to try Elementor Pro, if you want to use it, I will leave a link of Elementor Pro in the description down below. There's different type of products, right? There's digital products, there's uh, membership products, like subscription products, a simple products, variation products. To, and, and I think two or three other type of products. But today I'm only going to show you how to add the simple products and the variation products. So these are the two types of products I'm going to show you how to add today. So um, yeah, I, I assume you've already got a website, right? If you don't have, I have a full video right, about how to build an e-com website on WordPress. So if you if you haven't watched watched that video yet, go and watch that video. You know, and I and and then I also have a lot more videos on my website. Without wasting time or without taking much time, let's go on my PC now and then I walk you through the details on how to add products. So let's go. Okay, guys, here we are on my WordPress dashboard. You know, log into your WordPress dashboard. <laughs> this is how my WordPress dashboard is. Um, my recommendation for you. Before adding any products or before adding any images on your website, I would like you to uh, make sure all your images are the same. Okay, guys, I use Canva.com to create like a custom image size for all of my products. So I like my images to have the same uh, size. This is, for example, a product that I've added twice. So this is black coffee to be enjoyed. I mean, this is just an example of a product that I've added. Why all of them have the same size. So what i do i go to canva.com and i put the i make sure the product or i make sure all of my products have the same size right so that's what i do and to compress my image size i use a um, a website called tinypng.com so i upload the image here and then i compress it to a smaller size before i upload it into my website and once you are here on your dashboard what you also need to do is you need to go to plugins Click on plugins and there's a plugin that I would like you to install. I would like you to install a plugin called Shop Engine. It's a great plugin for, I mean, you don't need to pay for that plugin unless you want to upgrade. It's a free plugin, but if you want to upgrade, it's absolutely fine. You can upgrade. And I'm also using Elementor to, to do this task. So I have, I have the free version and the pro version, but for this video, you don't need a pro version. Install the install the plugin called shop shop engine once you've installed your plugin called shop engine so before so before we even go ahead and add our products another thing that i will recommend you to do is to come to your uh, media or your 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 images right so click here on media and what i would like you to do here is to bulk upload all of your images right upload all of your images at once so you don't have to upload them later on well, it's better to have everything in one place, you know. So what you need is going to be here and you're just going to use it, right? So instead of uploading one image at a time, so just come here and upload, and upload everything. And once you've done that, you need to come here to products, right? Uh, where's products? You come here to products and then click on attributes. So we're first going to add attributes. So things like colors, for example, is our, is our attribute. And enable archives. No, we're not going to enable archives. Uh, type is we're going to um, select shop engine color. And then we're going to click here, add attribute. So we've added the color. Now the second one is going to be the size, right? So the slice is going to be slug. We don't need to add anything. And the type we're going to say, uh, shop engine label right that's it uh the the default sort ordering we don't really need to worry about that and we need to click here on add attribute 
Now we're going to go on every single single attribute we've added. We need to uh, configure our terms, right? So click here. For example, on the color ones, we need to add um, sizes, right? So the color we're going to add color. So I'm going to start with green. Slug green. Uh, description. I'm not going to put anything on the description. And here on the color, I'm going to make sure I select the green, right? And I've selected the color. And then I need to click here. So the slug, I don't need to write anything. So, sorry. Slug, I don't need to write anything. So name is green. Uh, and then I click here on add new color. So now I have the, the green color here, right? So, and here I'm going to add red. So I've added three colors. I'm not gonna add more really, but if you wanna add as many colors as you want, you can always add more, but I'm only gonna stick with three colors for now. And I'm gonna go back to attribute. And on attribute, I'm going to configure size now. So on size, I'm gonna go for small. Right, add slice. And now we're going to add another one, large. Add new size. So I need to rearrange them in order. I will start with the uh, small and then I'll go with the large and then extra large. Okay, so perfect, right? So now that we've uh, organized everything, we need to go to our uh, products again. So we need to add new products, right? So click on add new. And here I'm going to add, I'm, I'm going to begin adding a simple product, right? So, and here I'm going to add a description, right? Uh, so here is a long product description, as you can see. And down here, I, I, I need to put a short product description. So I'm going to paste this, the same description. And then I'll just uh, delete, right? I'll just delete. Um, yeah, I'll just delete that, right? And here, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And down here, I'm going to show down, right? You need to show down, forget about the S title SEO and so on. That, that one is not really what we need to focus on right now. Here where it says product data. So there's different type of products. There's simple products. There's group product, external affiliate, variable product. Okay. For now, we're just gonna focus on the simple product. That's what we need to add. So let's stay on the simple products. And here on the regular price, uh, if you want to use this technique, you can do. So that's that's gonna be like the price before and the price after. So it was, it costs like 20 pounds, now it costs 19 pounds. So that's just, that's just kind of things that, you know, we're gonna need. So I put 2099, you know, the price, right? And here where it says inventory, I'll put stock keeping unit just like a number or a unit, something to identify a specific type of product. So I put 10,002. Manage stock level quantity. Yes, click on that. And the quantity I'll put uh, 120. Allow back orders, right? It's like, if the product goes out of stock, would you still allow, you know, if, if if I want to allow, then I can allow, but notify the customer. Or if I don't want to notify the customer at all, I can just click on allow. But you need to bear in mind, once the product go, runs out of order, you need to know that the product is slowly run out of order. And you need to write that somewhere. Low stock threshold, store wide. Uh, if I want to play on with this bit, I can play on with the, that bit. I'll just leave it where sold individually. So if I want to limit, the number of items I sell per customer, I can also activate this area, a limit purchase to one item per order if I want to, but I'll just deactivate that. And now I scroll down, right, to shipping. Uh, I can put the product size here, the width, the length, I can play on with that area. Linked products, if, if I want to link a product, 
for an upsell or, or a cost sell, I can go, go ahead and do this, right? Attributes, yes, this area is for product attributes. If I will have a different variation of these products, you know, different sizes and colors, I can play around with this. But for this specific tutorial, we're only adding a simple product, so we don't need that. Advance, that get more options. You know what? That's not really what we need to play around with this today. So in terms of simple products, I've added all the necessary information on this area. Now, we need to set a product image, right? So click on set product image. And I'm going to select this very image here and I'm going to set product image. That's the product image, right? And here I'm going to add a product gallery image. So it's going to be like a different options of images that people can see before, you know, they buy. So I'm going to add this one. For example, I'm going to add that to gallery. I'm going to add another one. And in terms of category, you can add a new category here, right? So I've created a category called secret juices. This is for like things like uh, lemon, lime, orange, you know, something citrus, right? So I've put that, I'm going to put sliced lemon under the secret category. But if you hadn't created one, you can just click here, add new and create a category and just click add new, that's it, yeah. So that's all you needed to do. Uh, product tags, yes, I can put a product tag here if I want to. Uh, that's pretty much choose product from the most used tag. If I want to do that, I can go ahead and do that. But that's pretty much uh, what we need to, to do here, right? But once you've done all of that, click here on publish. Okay, guys, that's how you add the simple products. Now let's view our invalid or duplicated SKU unit here, yeah, I understand. This uh, this error is probably because I've used that SKU unit before, but never mind. Now, let's see let's see our products here. Click on view products. So guys, this is our single product. As you can see, that's our single product, right? Slice lemon, great slice lemon. This is the description. And people can add as many uh, items they want to the cart, right? You know, and here, for example, there's another size here. You know, there's another size. So all of these products have the same size. Just bear in mind, all of your products must have the same size. It looks great, right? So you see the same size, same size, same size, right? Okay, awesome. I've added a simple product. So that's how you add a simple product. Now let's add a variation product. So let's go back now. So to add a variation product, uh, we need to, first of all, add attributes, right? So I've shown you earlier how to add attributes. So I went to products here and then I click on attributes. Then I added colors and size. These are the attributes that I've added. So these attributes, we're going to use them in a moment to, um, you know, to add product variation. So just so you know, that's why we added attributes, right? So click here on um, products, right? So these are the products we've added so far. And now we need to click on add new. And here we're gonna add fish and chicken. Delicious. That's just an example, right? I'm just naming this fish and chicken delicious. Here the long description, we need to add a long description to it. And that's the long description. And here, that's fine here, for example, where it says product data, we need to put that to variable product. You can see as we switch to variable product, but when it was simple, you could see like, you know, it gave us option for virtual or downloadable, right? And it also gave us a price option, but never mind. When you switch to variable, the price goes, but that's not a problem. We'll sort that one out, right? Stock keeping unit, manage stock level, I'll say 180. Uh, this one, I'll leave it to do not allow uh, low stock ratio. I'll leave that bit limit. I'll also leave this area. Shipping is a different thing. You know, if you want to put the size here, um, the weight and everything, just go ahead and put the weight, right? 
shipping class, no shipping class. I haven't set that one up. I'll show you how to set up the shipping class later. But if you want to um, put like your weight and dimensions, go ahead and do that. Linked products, don't worry about this bit. Right. However, if you do want to link products for upsell or cost sales, you can do that. Now, let's go for, for attribute. That's where we're most concerned. So custom product attribute. We need to select color first, right? And then click on add. And um, and here, visible on product page, use variation. Make sure these two are clicked as selected and click on select all. So all the colors that we added, the attributes that we added before, the orange, green, and red are going to be here and click here on save. So you've added the color, now you need to go to size and click here on add. On size, again, make sure visible on product page and use for variation is also available. It's also clicked because sometimes by default, the use for variation is not clicked. So you need to make sure you tick it, right? I click on select all. So extra large, large and small, and make sure you click on save. Okay, awesome, right? So these two are done. Um, and then click, in, click on variation. So on variation here is, um, you need to select create variation from all attributes, right? And then click on go. And it will say, uh, are you sure are you sure you want to link variation? This will create new variation to each product possible. Combination variation, maximum 50 percent. Oh, click here and go, right? Okay, so now it says shop with OA says it has nine variable. Okay, just click on okay, that's it. Okay, we do have nine variations, right? So for every product, for example, for a, a product of a green color, we have three sizes, right? Small, large, green, orange, the same applies for everything. So we're going to um, put the price, customize every single size and color, right? So let's go. Okay, for the green, for example, we're going to uh, add an image here, right? So right, set variation image, that's fine. Stock keeping unit, uh, we're gonna go for 10,042. Actually, I don't need to worry about the stock keeping unit because I've already put the stock keeping unit up there. Uh, now, uh, the regular price, I'll just put the price here is 22, 31, 99. Right, sales price is 20, 99. Let's just say that, right? The weight, I can put just one. Dimension, if I want to play around the dimension, I can do that if I want to. Uh, shipping class, same as parent, description. I don't need to put any description here. So I put a price, stop keeping unit is was already done. Right, manage stock. If I want to now know the, the, the quantity, I can go around and play around with the quantity, right? Let's say I say 50, right? 140. And then this area, I'll leave it the way it is. Now I go to green, large. I need to add something here and it will add this one. All right, stock keeping unit again. Don't worry about that. Uh, you need to click your manage stock. Uh, quantity is 120. Um, I mean, I've already put the quantity up there. The quantity here should reflect the quantity that you put initially, right? So let's say you put 140, you should split 140 between the three, but I'm just putting it here as an example, just so you know. Okay, so uh, 120 here and down here, the sales price is going to be 1299, 899, that's it. Um, weight, I'll put one, the, the size dimension, I can play on with this dimension here. Shipping class, same as parent. Uh, now let's go to the extra large, I'll put an image there as well. I'll put this one, all right, uh, manage stock, 112, uh, regular price, 
29. Okay. Let's just say that, right? Uh, the weight one dimensions, fine description. We don't need to worry about that. We do the same for everything. Go to mention is like you need to add all text. So I'll say GC lamb slice sizes, right? It's good for search engine. Uh, you've add the all text and click on add to gallery. And I'm going to add another image on, on my gallery. So it's probably going to be this one, right? So let's add that. Okay, awesome. And you need to add a category. So on what category is going to be on? It's going to be on the chicken and fish category. And product tax, I can add a product tax there if I want to, uh, or choose from the most used ones, that the ones that I've used before. So I've added what I need to be added there, and then I need to click on publish. So I've added that, and now now we need to view product. We need to view products, right? So click on view products. Okay, this is our product, our fish and chicken delicious, right? So this is our product, right? And um, yeah. So this is the description. Um, related product. This is this is the related products that like products that are in the same category, chicken and fish, right? So now, if you click here on small, for example, right? You could see this is the product that I have on the small. That's the small that it costs like 20, 20 pounds. Small green, right? Green, oh sorry, green, green large, right? So green large, I put this is the price of green large. Green extra large, that's the price of extra large, right? So now let's go to orange small. So this is orange small, orange large. Right, it says small because I put it. I mean, I made a, I mean, I made a mistake. So that's the orange large, and that's the orange extra large. Right. So there's a large, there's a small large and extra large. So as you can see, that's the feature image. Now, if we go on green small, that's what we see on green small, and that's the price. Green large, that's what we see, and that's the price. Green extra large, that's the picture. So if you go on orange, small, large, extra large, that's the price. So that's, and this is like a related product, right? So, right it's, so guys, that's how you add a single product and a variation product on your e-commerce WordPress website. As you can see, it was very simple, it was very straightforward. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I have a lot more videos about e-commerce and WordPress on my channel. So make sure you check those videos and then I have a full video where I show you how to build an e-commerce website using WordPress and Elementor. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, uh, share this content with your mates and I'll see you next time.